and then into the the last part which is certainly the favorite part for me um, quite challenging on the on the fingers but if you approach this part in a nice rhythmical uh, manner and if you're playing it in a band scenario that everybody manages to play it in the same style then it can be effective but it does take quite a lot of work to achieve that Okay, so to get those nice rhythmical doublings, we need to make sure that we hear the short uh, demi semi quaver ahead of them. So that F before the F double and the D before the D double. And we need to make sure also, whilst all that's going on, that we place all the half the 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 off beats in position. Alright, making sure that we use that uh, throwing high G and the double on high A, bang in the positions. Right, and be sympathetic to all your wee D grace notes on the short B's, etc. Okay, so the last part, I'll try playing it. the first two bars on the practice side there. I'll slow that down a wee bit again. And that will take some practice. We've covered the next two bars. And then we have a second timeline. Make sure to stretch out that low A, nice ripple effect on the Tarula. Nice strong hands in that second bar. Nice uh, use of the, the short Ds. <laughs> to set you up with the G grace note on the second beat on C. Okay, we'll play the last part twice over. After two, one, two. Okay, a cracking tune that certainly we've had a lot of good um, stuff said about it when the the Grade 1 band at Johnston play it. But I've heard um, it played by many top solos as well. So a little unusual to hear bands play it, but pretty effective if done to a decent level. Okay, so Alan Dodds, farewell to Scotland. Have fun learning it. Well done. <laughs>